वेलकम बैक टू माई टी माई क्रूप चैनल टूडे वी आर बैक विद अनादर पाथवे दैट इज हेडरो फर्मेंटेटिव पाथवे और वी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड इट एज फॉसफो किडोलिस पाथवे और हेटेरो लैक्टिक एसिड पाथवे फाइन सो दिस पाथवे इट इन्वॉल्व द ब्रेक डाउन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स पर्टिकुलरली पेंटो शुगर इन टू मेटाबोलिक इंटरमीडिएट सच एज एसिटिल फॉसफेट एसिटिल कोए एंड एथ्रोस फोर फॉसफेट इन दिस पाथवे टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ ए टी पी आर प्रोड्यूस्ड फर्स्ट ड्यूरिंग द कन्वर्जन ऑफ एसिटिल फॉसफेट टू एसिटिल कोए एंड सेकेंड ड्यूरिंग कन्वर्जन ऑफ ग्लिसरिहाइड थ्री फॉसफेट टू पायरुवेट फाइन सो विल स्टार्ट विद द एक्सप्लेनेशन अबाउट द पाथवे इज अ पाथवे ऑफ फॉसफो किटोलीस हेयर पेंटोज एंड हेग्जोज बोथ आर इन्वॉल्व सो दिस इन दिस पाथवे the glucose it is converted into glucose 6 phosphate here atp is converted into adp after that glucose 6 phosphate it is oxidized to form 6 phosphogluconate by the action of enzyme glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase after that 6 phosphogluconate it is decarboxylated into ribulose 5 phosphate and it it is catalyzed by enzyme phosphogluconate dehydrogenase so in this reaction nadp it act as a hydrogen acceptor and converts nad to nadh2 and co2 it is released after that ribulose 5 phosphate it is converted into xylulose 5 phosphate by the action of phosphopentose epimerase enzyme after that xylulose 5 phosphate it is cleaved into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and acetyl phosphate by the enzyme phosphoketolase enzyme so in actually the cleavage of xylulose 5 phosphate molecule involves two cofactor that is ttp and coa ttp it's thymine pyrophosphate and coa that is coenzyme a after that glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate it is converted into 1,3 diphosphoglycerate by the action of enzyme glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase in the presence of nad plus so this nad plus it takes up 2h plus and get reduced to nadh Two, fine. So after that, this glyceraldehyde three phosphate it also undergoes oxidation and simultaneously phosphorylation. So the next reaction involves the transfer of phosphate group from carboxyl group of one three diphosphoglycerate to ADP. by the action of phosphoglycerate kinase and it generates atp and 3 phosphoglycerate in simple way we can say that 1 3 diphosphoglycerate and atp adp it is converted into atp and 3 phosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme phosphoglycerate kinase after that this 3 phosphoglycerate it is converted into 2 phosphoglycerate with the help of enzyme phosphoglycerate mutase so in this reaction the phosphate group 
is shift from third carbon atom to second after that two phosphoglycerate it is dehydrated to phosphoenol pyruvate by the action of enolase and in presence of mg2 plus ion and here one water molecule is released phosphoenol pyruvate it loses the phosphate group and it get converted into pyruvate so the release of phosphate group combines with adp to form atp in the presence of pyruvate kinase one and after that the pyruvate it is converted into lactate by the action of lactate dehydrogenase so after that one of the more familiar homo fermentative pathway carries out the conversion of glucose glucose to ethanol to form the alcoholic beverages so after the formation of pyruvate ethanol is formed by two three simple reactions so this pyruvate it is this pyruvate it is further decarboxylated to form acetaldehyde fine so here we'll start from here so acetyl phosphate it is converted into acetyl coa after that acetyl coa it is converted into acetaldehyde and this acetaldehyde it is reduced to ethanol by the action of alcohol dehydrogenase here this acetyl phosphate it is reduced to ethanol via acetyl coa and acetaldehyde intermediate so this reaction it balances the two oxidation before the cleavage but it does not yield atp fine so this was the explanation about phosphoketolase pathway thank you please like share and subscribe my channel